Hi, Marco, our washers at washmart.com, your Houston and DFW pressure washer store. We're going to go over a pretty simple video. It is unboxing and how to use the X-Jet. Okay, so whenever you first purchase your X-Jet, you first need to determine which number you're going to get. It has the PSI on here. I'm going to tell you the PSI doesn't mean anything. You can just delete those PSIs. That information is irrelevant. What is relevant is the gallons per minute. So if you're running a five to six and a half gallon per minute machine, you want to use the number 16. Will the number 13 work? Yes, but you'll get less of a chemical draw. Will the number 20 work? Yes, it will work, but you will get more of a chemical draw and you will lose out on distance. The number 16 is the most balanced distance that you will get with this product. The other accessory that comes with the X-Jet that we recommend purchasing, it is a separate line item, is going to be the pail. And it quite simply is a five gallon pail with this. This makes it to where you can attach it directly because whenever you put it in an open bucket, you'll find yourself knocking the bucket over frequently. Whenever you have this product, you will find that you will do that a lot less. This breathing cap on the end is so that this does not get sucked in. Now, whenever you're opening the X-Jet, it comes with an instruction manual, the hose, this piece, I actually get rid of it. Everybody else thinks they, they need to use it. I don't. The X-Jet just will suck the dead bugs right up and shoot right out the end. Has the ball valve attached. Has the M5 head in here. We don't sell the standard X-Jets. We only do the M5 for obvious reasons. But there's something else that is in here, and it's called the proportioning tips. What these are for is whenever you have this wide open, it will suck a lot of chemical. Whenever you use these proportioning tips, it will restrict the flow of chemical and make it to where you will siphon less chemical. So whenever you're not needing as high of a concentration, you can use these to get the concentration down. Now what I want to go over is what this actually means. And this is how I'm going to make this really simple for you. You see how gray is going to be next to open? And you see how pink says 280 to 1? You see the inside of that? That's the gray. You see the inside of that? That's the pink. It's extremely restricted compared to the gray. That's going to kind of give you an idea. That's going to be the most restricted to the least restricted. So this is going to pull the most chemical. This is going to pull the least chemical, and that is how you use this chart. I am not going to explain how all the numbers work, because you should know how the numbers work. But just knowing that this is the most restricted, and that's at the bottom, and knowing that this is the least restricted, that's at the top, and everything in between is going to make sense. And how you put these in is so simple. You have this. You get this piece. And you just put it in. like that. And that is how you use your proportioning tip. Once you are done, all you have to do is put this and slap it on. Do you need a worm clamp? The answer is no. Should you use a worm clamp? My answer is yes. It will prevent this from pulling off this hose if you ever get this caught on something. All right, so you remember how I told you that I don't care for these? This is one of the reasons. So one thing to look at is on these M5 twists, whenever you have it wide open like this, it's gonna make a straight stream. And the more that you twist it and close it in, the wider the fans pattern. So the fan pattern will be at its widest angle whenever you have it compressed and it'll be 
to where it has almost no angle whenever you have it wide open. The other thing that we're going to show you is why this is even here. Whenever you're on your rinsing stage, now you're rinsing, you're no longer pulling. Now your soap is live again. All right, this is Marco with our washers at washmart.com, your Houston and DFW pressure washer store. Thank you for watching.